Welcome to the Azure Subscription Creation Experience. To create the subscription, you'll need to be an owner, contributor, or subscription creator on your Microsoft Customer Agreement billing account. If you don't have any of these roles, please contact your billing account owner or global administrator. Let's start with the Azure portal, where first, you'll need to provide your credentials. Once your credentials are confirmed, you will see the Azure Dashboard, where there are multiple ways to access the subscription space. From the home page, click on the Subscriptions tab under Azure Services, or you can type subscriptions into the search bar at the top of the page. From here, you'll navigate to a page that lists all your subscriptions. To create a new subscription, simply click on Add, and you will be directed to the Create a Subscription page here, you will need to fill out the relevant fields. Start by naming your subscription so you can find it easily later. Then, select a billing account associated with a subscription and a billing profile from the drop-down menu. Once you select a billing profile, you will need to choose an invoice section. Now, you will select your Azure plan. If you intend on running development or testing workloads, select the Microsoft Azure plan for dev slash test. If you want to run production workloads, choose the Microsoft Azure plan. Then select Next. If you have multiple tenants, you can use the Advanced setting to specify the tenant directory in which your subscription should be created. Otherwise, you do not need to change the settings. As the creator of the subscription, you will automatically become the owner and will be able to create resources, resource groups, and manage billing for the subscription. Now, let's see how budgets can help you manage all costs associated with your subscription. Here, you can create the budget, name it, and set a maximum expenditure limit. You can also set customizable alerts for different percentage levels to ensure you are notified once your budget reaches a certain ceiling. When done, click on the Next button. Now, let's explore tags. Tags are an optional tool that are used by organizations to categorize similar types of charges to get a consolidated view of these specific expenditures. For example, you can create a tag called Department, with the corresponding value being Finance or Marketing. You'll be able to create resources and resource groups, tag and classify associated subscriptions. Tags can help you save time finding resources or improve cost management. To review your details and create the subscription, select Next. The system will automatically check for errors, tell you what needs to be fixed, or notify you that your validation has passed. Now select Create to create the subscription. Your subscriptions will now appear in your subscription list for easy access. Click on a subscription to manage, cancel, or rename a subscription. And that concludes an overview of the subscription creation experience with the Microsoft Customer Agreement. To learn more, visit our supporting documents at Microsoft Docs.